everybody, I am Beth Golden. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, I'm certainly glad that you're here. Let's just jump right into it today. I am going to share with you one of the newer colors at this time, at least. It is the Flamingo. I cannot say that first word, so I'm not even gonna try. I have come up with five different color combinations that are beautiful with this color. A lot of times people get a little bit concerned because you might get mud, but if you stick to these color combinations, you are not going to get that. You are going to notice in this video that I do a couple different techniques. So I include pretty much everything, including the drying time. And I know that that can be super boring, but... I get a lot of requests on how long it, how long it takes to dry, what I do to dry, da 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 da. So you know what? I'm just gonna speed up the video, and you can see the whole process. You're also gonna notice that I may lay the colors different ways, and you can just use this to help give you some inspiration and some ideas on how you can put your colors down. You don't have to do it the same every time. At the end of the video, I am gonna come back and I'm going to talk to you about one of my very favorite things to use with Distress Oxides, as well as Distress Inks. What it does is it helps seal in your Distress Ink, which we're not using today, so that it's totally waterproof, and you can layer even more stuff on it and create, or you can actually go ahead and use it over your Distress Oxides to bring that luster back and that shine, and it'll get rid of that chalkiness. So sit back, enjoy the video. I hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll make sure I get to those. I always love it when you guys um, ask me questions or leave me comments. I totally appreciate. So I'm going to speed this up and add some music. Enjoy. <laughs> As we move into this color combination, I did want to include some purple. Purple is a really challenging color to work with because it doesn't follow the typical color theory type rules. When you're using purple, you definitely don't want to incorporate things like yellow or green. That'll definitely turn it brown. You wanna to stick to pretty much your blues and reds. However, in this particular color combination, this works and it is because I am staying with the warm tones, which is that spun sugar and then the flamingo. And it works beautifully with this wilted violet. I think that's the, the name of the <laughs> distress oxide I'm using for the purple. Now, if I were to incorporate any of the blue, I probably would end up with mud because the pink is more of a secondary color to the red. So just keep that in mind when working with purple. But this color combination is beautiful and you will get perfect results every single time.
Now here we are with my very favorite product uh, for my Distress Oxides and Inks, and that is the Distress Glaze. This stuff is epic. I love it. So all you're going to do is you're just going to take a little teeny tiny bit off. I like to use my fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean because you can get some mildew growth if they're dirty or there's moisture on them. So you rub it in with your fingers at first or with a sponge dabber. A sponge dabber does fit perfectly in that jar. And then you're going to wipe it off with a clean towel. And what that does is it removes the residue and it look, it brings back that beautiful luster on your Distress Oxides if you don't care for that chalky look. So from here, I want to clean up my space. I have been wiping it down with water, but there's still some residual on there that just didn't come up. And I'm using my very favorite cleaner. I only use this when I've tried it with water and I can't get it up because it is, you know, it's an investment a little bit. It's not too expensive, but still, we don't want to waste our product, right? So it's an oil-based type. It's kind of greasy, a little oily, uh, which I like on my hands because it moisturizes them. But what you want to do is you just want to rub this down with a paper towel and then go back over it with some water to remove that residue. And it'll get all of that up so you don't have to worry about cross-contaminating your spaces. I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so, making sure you hit that notification bell. If you enjoy videos about paper crafts and art-related topics, on card making and art journaling. I'm definitely your girl you want to follow. That is what my channel is about. And I love to interact with you guys. So make sure you hit me up on my other social media accounts as well. I do have the products I use listed down below. Make sure you check that out. Until next time, I am Bets Golden. Happy crafting.